The Sushmo with the bro. Tommy Fury, the brother of the Gypsy King Tyson Fury. The boxer, the reality TV star here at MGM. How we doing? Well, I think that's the best introduction I've ever had in my life to an interview. Get used to it, my friend. The cameras are on you. <laughs> well, that's for sure, isn't it? Well, good to be here. Good to be joined by that. Can I just say that is a lovely suit? I appreciate that. Lovely suit. Got some fashion tips from your brother once upon a time. I don't know whether to uh, call you the, um, the Schmo or Robert De Niro. We'll take it. We'll take it. Is that the best US of A reference you got for me? I mean, Robert De Niro's a pretty big star, isn't he? Yeah. The Raging Bull. Fits, fitting's done it. Yes. Now, great movie, by the way. Great 1984, movie. I believe. Uh, I Maybe 80. Sure. Maybe 80. Early yeah. 80s. We'll call it the early 80s. We'll call it the early 80s, yeah. Now, talk to me for a second. Two years, five years down the line, where's your career going to be? Where are we going to see it? I want to be a world champion, for sure. I would not be in the sport of boxing if I didn't think I could go all the way. It's too hard. It's too many man hours. And you've just got, you've got to be in it to win it. You know, all the other titles are great. You know, it's an absolute honor to win any title. But you've got to aim for the top. If you don't believe in yourself that you can go to the top, it's, not, it's no point worth messing with. Self-belief. What's the best thing your brother's taught you so far? Because obviously you got the mindset. Yeah, I believe mindset is everything in boxing. Most people who don't really know much about boxing, they think it's all physical, you know, the training and all that, but it's not. You know, the mental preparation is the hardest thing about boxing. And if you've got the mindset to be a great boxer, then you'll go all the way. And obviously looking at Tyson now, it's so inspirational because he has the best mindset of an athlete that I've ever seen. You know, from where he was two years ago to where he is now, that's all mindset. And I've never seen anything like it. It's just so inspirational. Lost the weight. And what do you attribute to why he is the way he is now? He's the happiest he's been, keeping the weight off. He's hungry. Yeah. He's ready to prove, not just to himself, but to the world, that he is the number one guy out there. Yeah, for sure, you know, for us who's been who's around him, that he's always been that number one guy because we know what he's capable of. You know, we've always said it, the only one to beat Tyson is Tyson. And that's not going to happen because you see how happy he is now. He's a happy fighter, he's a dangerous fighter, you know, and he's, he's definitely he's the best in the world. You know, you can't say more about it. You know, there's no one coming close to him. He's a switch hitter, he's got the size, he's got the strength, he's got everything, everything going for him. You know, I'm sure Otto Walden's going to come on Saturday and give a good account of himself. But, you know, the, the thing is, you've got all these fighters, they're at one level. But then you got Tyson, he stands alone. It's like Mayweather, when Mayweather was boxing active. You had all these great fighters, the Canelos, whatever you want, but then you had Mayweather. It's the same thing here. You know, so I'm sure they're all going to come, they're going to give good accounts of themselves, but there's only one man in boxing, and that's Tyson. Now let's back up to you for a second, man. What's the update with the TV show, the reality TV star over here? Well, I've just come off uh, Love Island. I've uh, been out now for about a month and a half or something like that. You know, there's a lot of great opportunities coming my way. You know, I'm not going to lie, a lot of great opportunities. Blessed to be here in Vegas at the fight. Um, and I definitely want to get back in the ring, for sure. You know, I'll be in that ring in the next 12 months. I've um, just got a few obligations that I need to, you know, obtain. And I'm sure I'll be back in the ring. What's the one thing you didn't expect on the Love Island that came to fruition? To fall in love, to find a great girl like Molly May. You know, Molly May is honestly the girl. She's so supportive about everything. Even through me boxing, you know, it takes a strong woman to um, be at the side of you. Through your boxing, you know, through camp, it's a hard time. You know, she's there. She's taking everything on board. She's really throwing herself into it. And it's nice for her to come to Vegas and see this side of it because this is me. This is my life. So it's nice for her to see it. When that autobiography comes out of your brother in a couple of months, what's he going to be saying about you inside that text? Well, hopefully all good stuff. <laughs> Any secrets that you know of that you can share with the schmo? You'll have to wait and get yourself to Waterstones. We couldn't even get anything out of you or your brother on that. Ah, uh, well, closed book is always the best book. One message for all the Tommy Fury fans out there worldwide. What well, message? Stay true to yourself and be happy. He's the pro, I'm the schmo. MGM Grant, we're out.